Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. In my last Mercury video, we poured Mercury into table salt, and despite the salt only being one-seventh the density of Mercury, it became submerged underneath the Mercury as we poured it in. So I sat back and observed the comments as they rolled in. So we got a lot of comments saying it was because of the shape of the salt and it was interlocking together. Um, a couple of people said it was the shape of the glass. So I used the wrong shape of a glass. I don't know what the right shape would be, but um, also we've got a lot of people saying it was the surface tension of the mercury. Others said that it was just because the mercury was so heavy and just many, many, many ideas. And a few people even asked their teachers, which is great. So in this video, we're going to take another step and add lead shot to the mercury. It's, it's round. It's, it's a higher density than salt and it should still float. Now a lot of people said you should have poured the mercury in first and then poured the salt on top of it. So that's why I'm doing this. I put a little bit of uh, mercury on the bottom followed by lead shot. And what happens? And of course the lead shot just floats on the top on the very surface of the mercury and nothing happens. I think a good way to compare this is if you were a skier just standing on the bottom of a ski slope, well, nothing's going to happen. You're just going to stay at the bottom of the ski slope. And what we saw with when we poured the mercury on top of the salt was like an avalanche coming down on the skier. And that's what we want to focus on, why the salt granules are being submerged. Even though they're loose, they're not compacted, they're not locking together. That's what we're focusing on here. And now we'll just pour some more mercury on top of the lead shot now and see what happens. So even though the lead shot should be floating freely because it's less dense than mercury, as I equated it, it's kind of like what you would expect to see pouring milk into Rice Krispies where it would float we still see the same thing that happened to the salt. The, the particles or the lead shot in this case are remaining submerged and um, even though we agitate it, um, most of the lead shot is still submerged underneath the mercury. Mercury is a liquid but it doesn't behave like other liquids like an oil or a water-based liquid. It doesn't saturate things, it doesn't wick, um, so it's still a dry metal. As we know, mercury has an extremely high density, but it also has an extraordinarily high surface tension. This is a chart just comparing different elements, and you can see how high it is. It, it's just incredibly high compared to everything else. So although this scenario of pouring mercury on salt seems very simple, there's a lot of things going on. The mercury isn't saturating into the salt and it, it's being supported by the surface area of the salt underneath it. So the mercury reaches an equilibrium with the salt and is supported by the salt and then as you continue filling it up you have what's called a meniscus and the meniscus is the surface of the mercury and, and it's in a convex shape it's it's like a bubble on the surface and again the the salt on the surface of this bubble is just like the skier again and it's going downhill outwards to the edge of the glass and because of that super high surface tension the granules of salt are just being dragged underneath the surface of the mercury. Now the surface tension isn't just on the top surface, it's on all surfaces of the mercury from the, the bottom, the sides, every surface that co comes in contact with everything else. So really the forces that allow an insect to walk on the surface of water, exploiting the surface tension, is the same force that is keeping the lead shot suspended underneath the mercury. Lead shot 
in theory should just float and rise to the surface it doesn't because of that super high surface tension and the super high density pushing down on the lead shot. And those who are curious about how I got the mercury back out of the lead shot, I just use a syringe. It's, and this is the same way I did it with the uh, mercury in the corn syrup. You just suck it up with a syringe. Now please remember that mercury is a hazardous material. Even lead is a hazardous material. Um, if you have mercury, please be careful with it. Don't spill it. Don't play with it. And uh, definitely don't bring it into your house. My channel is geared more towards playlists than it is towards subscribers. And if you are into Mercury, I have a ton of videos just on this subject. Please check out my playlist. I'm sure you'll find all kinds of crazy stuff. And always, if you have a suggestion, uh, let me know and we'll see if we can do it. Dude, you do not know how to say Mercury. I'm unsubbing. <laughs>